Hello everybody, how are you doing? So, yes, I'm in my new room, but this is not finished by any means. I've spent the last week sorting out my new house, trying to get this room built. I've got so much more to do, so it's a little bit bare in places. This is not how it's going to be once I am done. But I needed to get a video uh, ready today because something's happened. And uh, I just thought in my state of flux at the moment, I wanted to get this uh, recorded for you. So basically what's happened is a week ago, I did my um, unveiling of the three imagined um, splatter vinyl. Uh, hope you saw that. If not, there'll be a link to that around. Uh, I've been listening to this for about a week or so now, really enjoying it. And um, there's the physical only version. Um, mix that's on here that isn't on the streaming we've heard over the last few months long-tailed winter bird the idris elba remix i'm interested to know what everybody thinks about that as well as everything else that's on this album uh, i thought it was quite interesting it took me by surprise i wondered what the heck is this song this isn't off mccartney 3 and although it's described as an idris elba remix it's in effect it's a completely different paul song one that we've not heard before something sort of quite upbeat and it keeps switching between paul doing this upbeat song idris elba rapping for a little while and then the familiar guitar riff from long-tailed winter bird sort of comes in so it's not really long-tailed winter bird it just uses elements of it with uh, with a brand new song so that's been interesting but the reason why i am doing this video now is that uh, i've received a package just today from capitol records in hollywood and i haven't opened it yet i do not know what's in here so i thought i would share this with you as I open it, uh, all I know is about 10 days ago, I got an email from Capitol Records. And thank you very much to the person at Capitol Records who got in touch. You know who you are. And they said, uh, we'd love to send you a vinyl copy of Three Imagined. Well, I'm not going to turn that down, am I? Uh, and it's arrived today. But I, d I don't know wh whether it's going to be the regular black version. I say regular black version, but, you know, I think black vinyl recent recently on Paul issues is the rarity so I don't know what's in here. It's a thicker box than I was imagining for a vinyl record. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to open it now. I'm going to see live with you what is in here. What is it that they've sent me? But I do thank them very much. Like I said, I do want to hear from you about three imagined. What are your thoughts on it? I know some of you have been very keen to tell me that you uh, really don't like it. Thanks very much for that. I, I needed to hear that. Um, uh, but that's fair enough. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Uh, nobody can force you to. And uh, but, but a lot of you have been digging the various remixes on that. I do want to do a listening party for this album once I've got set up. Uh, so I'll be doing that as soon as I possibly can. Uh -huh. And now I've just seen there is a vinyl in here. There is also something else. I'll come to that in a moment. But there's something else just in that box there. Very interesting. So, um, well, let's let's get this open. Um, I'm we're also only a week away now from All Things Must Pass being released. I am I'm really in two minds about All Things Must Pass at the moment, folks. I am I'm naturally excited for it. Um, I, I genuinely am, but I might be revising what I've ordered. I might be cancelling some of my pre-orders, potentially. Uh, for reasons that I will go into, if I decide that I am going to do that, then I've got some issues, basically, with, with what's been done and how it's been done. And I'm waiting to sort of see what my, my own mind is before I, before I commit. So what have they sent me? Here you go, three imagined. Now, it's the same. Is that the same? That looks the same to me as the one that I've, I've got, but I don't know, I'm not sure whether they, they all look like that on the outside. Uh, is there anything different on the back? There is actually. Promotional use only, not for sale. Always nice to have. So that tells me that what I'm gonna do for now, because I want that to stay on there, that's on the outer wrapper. I am gonna just, um, I'm just gonna unseal this down the side so that I can keep this wrapper on and uh, because I, I've, I've not got many things that are described as promo only, but it's it's kind of a nice thing to have. But um, so that means I've got to be extra, really ultra careful with this. Um, so come on, here we go. So let's have a look what color this is. Remember, I've got something else in this box as well that I'm going to take out in a moment. So, but oh, 
it's not a splatter vinyl. It's not the same as what I've already got. This is nice. Look at that. That's like a kind of a purple violet colour. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Uh, I'm guessing then that both discs are going to be the same colour. I don't think I don't think there's been any configurations where each disc is a different colour. But let us just double check that because you know I've been busy lately and there might be things that I'm not aware of. So like the like the one that I already had, it has got a little poster there with the dice. It's got the credits on the back. And the other disc, yes, the other disc is also this purple. So that is beautiful. Um, so I thank you very much, You Know Who at Capital Records, for sending me that. It is much appreciated. Um, I will never, ever take those things for granted. But what else is it that they sent me in this box? Cassette. Now... I personally don't use cassettes anymore, but I think these are nice to have. I did get the, uh, I got McCartney 3 on cassette. It's, it's behind there somewhere. I've already showed that on video, um, but these are nice little collectibles to have as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to play them, but again, promotional use only, not for sale. So that's nice to have. Uh, it's a, I'm not sure if there's been different colored cassettes, but this is a regular black cassette. So that is McCartney 3 Imagined which I will put next to my McCartney 3 cassette. So that's splendid. That's a nice little uh, treat that I'm pleased to have received. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna carry on building this room now. Um, I'm going to do a full room tour once this is ready. And when it's not quite as echoey, you can probably hear a bit of echo at the moment. That's because it needs a bit of a acoustic dampening. But over there, where I'm not showing you yet because it's not ready, I've got my record player. I've got it. I've, it's, this is a much better listening room. It really is. Uh, I've got my record player, I've got uh, a, a new, funky new piece of equipment up there that I'll show you, my amp, my DAC and everything, and all my vinyls up there and some of my old shelves. Now, you know those CD shelves that would be always behind me in my old room? There was four of them joined together. Uh, one of them didn't survive the move, it got smashed, uh, never mind. Uh, and another one I decided to get rid of and replace with this, which is kind of one unit that's about the size of the old two combined. And it's nice because... I don't have my archive collection sticking out like they did before. Uh, so yeah, I'll do a full room tour once it's ready, which hopefully will be fairly soon. I'm pondering my old things must pass options. And if I decide that um, I'm as um, disappointed in a certain aspect of it as I currently am, I'm going to cancel something and I'll talk that through with you. But uh, thank you for joining me on this impromptu video as I got my surprise package from Capital Records. And I will see you again very soon. See you later. Bye-bye.